The storm is going to make landfall this evening. Uh, it will likely be dark by the time the storm passes. Don't put yourself at risk. We have fatalities on the roadways in hazardous conditions almost every storm, and, and those can be avoidable. It's unsurvivable. That's how they're describing it. So this is a, a really big storm, a very dangerous storm. It's going to be a powerful storm even after it leaves Florida. I mean, at one point, you had uh, wind, the wind field from uh, Hurricane Helene stretching all the way from Miami up into Georgia. This is a really big storm. I'm very concerned about multiple life-threatening hazards that are going to start playing out here in just the next couple of hours. Uh, we're expecting between Apalachicola and Chasowitzka, 10 to 20 feet of storm surge inundation above ground level. Remember, two years ago, just two years ago, 150 people were killed when a surge was only 14 feet. Now the surge is expected to be up to 20 feet. 20 feet. Conditions are pretty bad. I mean, this is a massive storm. It's been sort of trucking its way uh, up northwards through the Gulf of Mexico all this afternoon. It's a Category 4 hurricane, so it has maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour. It's going to have gusts of higher than that, and it's moving at about 24 miles an hour, so it's moving along at a pretty good clip. Parts of our state are starting to feel the effects already. Uh, certainly, if you're in North Florida, uh, you still have time to execute your plan, but you got to do it now. Uh, you have time to get to a shelter, but you got to do it now. Everyone needs to take it seriously, extremely seriously. The potential storm surge is well beyond the immediate path of the hurricane. could be significant and deadly. You know, for you and your family's sake, I urge everyone in and near the path of the hurricane to listen to local officials and follow evacuation orders.